Today I'm going to show you how to take a painting off the frame. You want to take it off the frame for shipping purposes because you'll save a whole lot of money. By taking it off the frame, you roll it up, you put it in a special cardboard tube that you can find at any office supply store. The tools you will need are a screwdriver and a pair of pliers and also some eye protection. So what you want to do is you want to take your small flathead screwdriver, you want to get at one corner of the staple and get at the other corner of the staple, just dig it underneath so you've popped it out. And then generally you can pull it out just with your fingers. One edge of the corner, another edge of the corner. It's kind of slow and tedious, but if you do it slow, carefully, you won't rip your canvas. You want to be careful too, um, wearing eye protection sometimes when you're popping these staples out, they can go flying across the room. So protect your eyes. Here we are on the corner now. We've taken out three staples on each edge so that when you've released the corner staple, you can easily open up the canvas and have lots of room to remove it from the frame. You just slowly peel away. It's not gonna hurt the painting. There you go. You pull it right off the wood frame. So we're taking out the last couple staples. And this is what it looks like to take the painting right off the frame. So now that you've got your painting off the frame, you lay them down on the floor. I've got three paintings here. You can roll up 10 to 15 paintings at once. So you want them all facing the same direction, painting facing out. So when you roll up the paintings on the outside, so I've got three paintings here all lined up together and you roll it up just like a giant carpet. It's a good idea to collect those silicone packs from when you buy a pair of shoes in the shoe box there. Save those packs, pop them inside the tube and they absorb any moisture that might collect in transit. So you just roll it up quite easily. And once it's all rolled, then you put it into one of those cardboard tubes you can buy at any office supply store.